Come here, Posley, and sit down. Did I, uh, did I do anything wrong, Warden? Sit down. I've got a wire here from Placerville. They've arrested a man for robbery and murder. Oh, what's that got to do with me, sir? He also admitted to holding up the Virginia City Bank a year and a half ago. It'll be a few days before the legal work is straightened out, but that means that uh, the sentence against you will be reversed. You'll be a free man. I don't pretend to uh, know how you feel, Postley. Happy to spend a year and a half in a cell for something that you didn't do. All that I can say is that we're sorry. The law is sorry that we made a mistake. But thank heavens we found out that it was a mistake. Are you sure? I'm sure. Uh, I think I'll go. I'll go back to my cell. Mosley? Yes, sir. Good luck. Uh, thank you, Warden. Candy, you just wait a few years. They get longer. Come on, let's get some to eat. <laughs> oh, that sounds great. Hey, yeah, pretty good cowboy. I haven't seen a man set a better saddle. Thanks. Hey, Joe. Hey, Joe. Didn't expect to see you back so soon. You get everything finished up in town? Our horse is finishing up, huh? I thought you might want to see this. It's a wire that was sent to Sheriff Coffee. Oh, yeah? Postley. Postley? What about him? He's been released from prison. A man in Placerville confessed to the robbery. Oh, no. Out of the alley that night, you had to tell the jury that. It's not your fault they found him guilty. It's not a question of whose fault it is, Joe. It happened. There weren't any other suspects. Like you didn't bring in the verdict, the jury did. Can you imagine how he must have felt all that time in prison, knowing he was innocent? Pot could have been worse, it could have been the rest of his life. No way, he's a lucky man. I imagine he's feeling pretty good right now.
Uh, come in. Uh, we, uh... Heard the, heard the news about a month ago. Don't know what to say. Don't say nothing. What's done is done. It ain't nobody's fault. Thank you, John. For what? Oh, for, for making it easy for me. I told you it wasn't nobody's fault, didn't it? <laughs> come on, come on, sit down. Come on, let's have a drink, huh? <laughs> come on. No, I don't want a drink, thank you, man. No, I'm sorry I didn't get by earlier. I meant to. I wanted to come by and tell you there was no hard feelings, but I got busy up at the diggings this past month, and I didn't get a chance. Well, you, uh, you doing some mining? Yeah, a little bit. Well, I thought that farming was your stock. Well, it was, but... Uh, I lost that little piece of land I had. Well, look, there's plenty of good farming land right here in the Ponderosa. Oh, bad. No, no, no. I reckon I'll stick to mining for a while. Any luck? Well, I've had some pretty good signs. Nothing I could buy a bowl of beans with yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, if you, uh, if you need a steak or anything like that, you don't oh, be very happy. Thank you, man. I can manage all right. Keeping busy is the main thing. You sure now? I'm sure. Well, I just reckon I'll be on my way. I wanted to come by and tell you there was no hard feeling. Well, John, I, I, I'm happy you did. And, and, you know, anything that you need, you just have to holler. Well, you know, there is one thing. Well, name it. That prison food's nothing to shout at, but my own cooking is even worse. <laughs> I could use an invite to supper some night. Well, but tonight. Now, the cook's away, but oh. they say I'm a pretty fair hand in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot, I got some supplies on the mule outside. I got to get them up to the oh. line. Well, well, tomorrow night, then, huh? You got yourself a supper yet. Well, fine. We'll see you here tomorrow night. <laughs> <All right. laughs> John? Yeah. It's good to see you again. It's good to see you, Ben. Real good to see you. And that was a conversation. I got to admit to something. It took a load off my mind to see how well he'd come out of it. Same here. I hope he has a lot of luck with that mine of his. He could show you some. You know, that mining can be pretty rough when you try to go it alone. <laughs> yes, it can. That man has so much pride, he just won't let anybody help him. You got to give him credit. Yeah. Tell you something else we got to give him. That's a supper that he'll never forget. With chicken and dumplings, the works. <sighs> Chicken and dumplings. Dad burn it, Paul, can't you? Can't you do it another day? I mean, I gotta leave in the morning. It'll take me two or three days to make all those land camps. Well, now, Hoss, that's uh, exactly why I sent you on that little mission. Make sure that John gets a chance at dumplings. <laughs> <laughs> of course, having Joe along will just make the time fly by. <laughs> but, Paul, you don't... That's all right, Hoss. Andy. Good night, Mr. Carray. Good night, Paul. <laughs> Chicken and donuts. <laughs> I, I hate to make a pick of myself, but I might think it tastes this good in a long time. <laughs> well, that's what it's here for. <laughs> well, you sure weren't fooling when you said you could cook. How about some potatoes? Well, you talked me enough. <laughs> Well, I tell you, working in a mine sure gives a fellow an appetite. Why'd you ever decide to give mining a try? Well, a fella had to sell before me. He died. I left some books on mining, so I read them. Better than staring at the wall. And when you're in a cell for a long time, you get used to working inside. Besides, a man can hit it big, you know. You said you had some encouraging ore samples, huh? Oh, I ain't sure, Ben. I'm working an old abandoned mine looking for a new vein. Really just kind of going on what I read in the books. I sure hope I'm right. Hmm. Well, you know, you, you could get a, an outside expert to yeah, take a look. Yeah, no, I could, but you never know who you can trust. And if it looked good, you know, they'd be swarming all over me in an hour's time. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. Yeah, hey. Ben, you used to do some mining, didn't you? Some. Well, look here. Couldn't you uh, give me a... Fair idea what I got myself into. 
Well, I'm no expert, but I'd be happy to take a look. Well, when could you do it? Anytime you say. Well, look here, there's a couple hours daylight left. Uh, how about right now? All right, fine. <laughs> you want to go with us, Candy? Sure. <laughs> I'll saddle the horse. <laughs> This could be my lucky day. <laughs> well, there she is. These timbers, they've been here a long time. That's right up ahead here. You know, now that we're here, I'm almost afraid to have you look. Why? Oh, well, I reckon because it means so much to me. Well, John, if we never look, we'll never know. You're right, Ben. You're absolutely right. Let's go. There it is. yourself in one month? Oh, that shaft was already started. I, I just did the rest of it. You really done a job, John. Well, I'd do anything if you really want it bad enough. Well, let's get down and take a look. Yeah, be careful on that rope ladder. I'll get a lantern. joke, man. Mistake, I pulled the ladder up. I didn't mean to. Made a mistake, but we all make mistakes, don't we? Yeah. Well, mistake or whatever, John. Come on, drop that ladder and bring the light down. What for? John, you did a lot of hard work. Don't you want to know if you hit it big? Yeah, I did do a lot of work, didn't I? Well, get down here. Bring that light down so we can see what you got. Well, I know what I got, Ben. I got you. You and Candy come to help me, did you? I can't, I can't let, let you do you that, Ben. You, you done enough for me already. Now, John, listen to me. No! You listen to me. When was the last time that you helped me out? Sometimes I can't remember how long ago it was. Time don't matter, does it? John, we know how you feel. No, you don't know how I feel. But you will. You will. Hey, John. John! Uh, look. Just drop that ladder down. Let us out of here. We'll just forget this ever happened. We won't say a word to anyone. Ben, will you promise me that 
If I let you out, you won't say anything to anybody. Now, you promise? Yes, I promise. How about you, Candy? Do you promise? I promise, John. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Now, who are you going to tell if I don't let you out of there? John, you just can't leave us here to die. Oh, no, no, no. You're not going to die, Candy. Oh, no. I wouldn't let that happen. Oh, there's food and water there. Everything a man could want. Everything you gave me. John? John! 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 No use. I can't get a hold anywhere. He said he'd give us food and water. That's what he said. Yeah, state of mind is no telling. How about Joe and Hawks? When they get back, we don't show up, they'll look for us. They'll find us. Candy, could you find your way here without Postley? Now we're just gonna have to wait and Hope that he comes to his senses or makes a mistake. What do we do in the meantime? Just sit here? Yeah. We sit. And pray. They're both here. I can't wait to get the look on their face when they see how quick we got those line shacks checked. Yeah, well, I don't mind working quick, but I sure hate to do without breakfast. Yeah, well, maybe you get lucky. Might be some of those chicken and dumplings left. That sounds good. Yeah, well, you put the horses away and I'll check on the chicken. Yeah, all right. Chicken left? Hey, take a look at this. Everything's still on the table from dinner last night. Ain't like Paul to leave a mess like that. It sure ain't. Nobody in the house either. Well, they couldn't be too far off, both the horses out there in the barn. I think I'll have a look around. You check with the boys in the bunkhouse. Doesn't make any sense. None of the 
hand saw them this morning. The horses are still in the barn. None of the wagons are missing. Well, maybe somebody drove them into Virginia City for something. I don't know. Look, even if you're right, they would have been back by now. Besides, what about the dinner dishes? How do you explain that? I can't. Evening, Joe. Boss. Sorry to come calling so late, but uh, I want to see your pa for a minute. He's not here, John. Oh? He didn't say anything to you last night about where he was going to be today, did he, John? Well, that's why I come by. I come to apologize for not coming to dinner last night. I worked so hard at the mine all day yesterday. I just plumb forgot and fell asleep. What is it? Something wrong? We don't know. Nothing I can do. No. No, thank you, John. Well, I'll be on my way. Look, uh, you sure you tell him that I'm sorry about last night, huh? Yeah, we'll tell him, John. Nice, nice seeing you boys again. Yeah, good night, John. I'm gonna ride in town and have a look around. Maybe we're making a big thing out of nothing. So I hope we are. How long do you think we've been down here? Well, it's uh, kind of hard to tell the difference between night and day. I don't know. How long do you think? Oh, day, day and a half. Seems more like a week or a month. How long do you think you'll keep us down here? Huh? Oh. I don't know. Oh, yes, you do. Yes, you do. Forever, that's how long. You can't let us out now, huh? We're gonna spend the rest of our lives down here. No, we can't. Eh? We're here. Huh? Yeah. And yeah, there's nothing too much that we can do about it, it seems. And he promised to bring us food and water. He promised? Yes, he did. He'll bring it. But you said yourself he's sick. He, he doesn't know what he's doing. He'll bring it. Suppose he doesn't come back. Suppose he just leaves us here to die. Well, did my friends think I'd forgot about him? Hostley, let us out of here. Can't be done, Candy. Well, you yourself said that I've done a lot of work here. Besides, it ain't so bad, is it? You got food and water. You got each other to talk to. I never had nobody to talk to. John, just, just listen for a minute now. It's not going to work. They're going to... Look for us when they get back, Hoss and Joe. They know that you were the last one to be with us, to see us. And they're going to find you, and it'll be all over. Well, they don't have to find me, Ben. I found them. What? Yeah, I went by the ranch last night. Told them I was sorry I missed dinner the other night. They're right worried about both of you. I hadn't offered to help them. They'll find out. Somehow they'll find out. No, I don't think they will, Candy. And I've had a long time to think about this, you know. Now look, John, they'll see the, the dishes that were left on the table. Put three settings there. They'll, they'll see that, they'll know you're lying. Oh, well, them dishes. Now, I took the liberty the other night of going back in the house and washing mine up and putting them away. It's a habit I got in prison. Now, why don't you both stop arguing and pleading with me all the time? Now, I did the same thing when I first went to prison, but it don't do no good at all. All it does is get you all upset. Here's some more food and water for you. I'll be back in a couple of days. Take it, Ben. Take it. Of course, it don't compare to that meal you prepared for me. And after a while, it gets to taste pretty good. Then after a while, nothing tastes like anything at all. Goodbye, fellas.
Where's your light? to try to escape. I'm gonna have to put that on your record. Seen him, nor heard of him. Two weeks and nothing. What about the reward posters? Well, they're all done. Roy sent them out to every town within 200 miles. I don't know what good they're going to do. The news has been in every newspaper from Carson City to Placerville. If anybody had any information, we'd have heard by now. All we can do is wait. I think a man could stay alive down here. First I was afraid, afraid he wouldn't come back and we'd die. And I said, Matt, listen, wait. Pray that he'd come back. Now I pray that he won't come back so it'll be over. As long as we're alive, there's a chance chance to what? To go blind in the darkness? To go out of our minds? Why doesn't he just take that shotgun and get it over with? Just get it over with. so you can check the telegraph office again. Maybe something's turned up. Oh, so we're kidding ourselves. It's been a month. The only chance we had that kidnappers were holding for a ransom, and even that's no good now. Dad 
Bernie, and I keep thinking that that door's going to open. He's just going to be standing there like nothing ever happened. Morning, boys. Beautiful morning. Oh, you're awful quiet this morning. I figured you'd be happy to see me. Hey, I brought a newspaper. Thought I'd read to you a little bit while you're having your breakfast. <laughs> yes, sir, you're both famous now. Yeah, you're right on the front page. <laughs> yes, sir, it says, reward offered for anybody knowing anything about you. <laughs> you sure you don't want me to read it to you? Huh? Well, I'll read it to you anyway. Yeah, it says Cartwright, missing. One. Guess what uh, it says. Is it a week? Month? Year? Come on, guess, Ben. You're insane, Postley. You know that, don't you? You're insane, and you're trying to drive us insane. But it won't work. <laughs> I feel sorry for you, John. You're down there and I'm up here. And you, you feel, feel sorry for me. Mm. I'm free to go any place I want to. No, you're not. You can't get away from here. You gotta keep coming back day after day, week after week. You're just as much a prisoner as we are. You'll never be free. Well, now, what if I just go away and let you die? No, you won't. You can't. <laughs> you wouldn't have anything to live for. <laughs> You're sure of that, aren't you? You real sure? Yes. Yes, I'm sure. You're trapped, John. And you'll never be free. Never. Well, we'll see about that. We'll see about that. Who's insane now, Carter, right? <laughs> Who's insane now? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Some more water for our friend. Yes, sir. You can't let nothing happen to them. Ah, this will do it. This will do it.
We're out of water. I know. I'm sorry about the dynamite. I'm all right now. I don't know what happened to me. All of a sudden, it was there. Forget it, I understand. You know, if we ever get out of here, you're gonna owe me a lot of back wages. Yeah. John, John, just take it easy. Oh. Here. Oh. Here, drink some of oh. this. It'll help that pain. Oh. Oh. What? What? John, you, you had yourself a real bad accident. You busted your legs up real good. If it had been hurt any worse, the doc said you'd have lost them both. Doc, what the heck? Doc's already been here and gone. Little Joe's taking him back to town. Where am I? You're at the Ponderosa, John. Oh, Ponderosa? No, I can't be. John, now I told you to lay still. You got two busted legs, and if you keep moving around, they ain't gonna set proper. Okay, get out of here. John, you ain't gotta go nowhere. Not for another six weeks, anyhow. Six weeks? That's doctor's orders. Now you, you lay still, let me go get you something to eat. First met you all, I couldn't believe it. Believe what? The way you are, the way you care about each other. I guess I just wasn't used to it. You know the way I was always saying I wouldn't stay in the same spot very long. I was making out like I was getting ready to leave. I just never meant it, that's all. Never thought you did. I always thought I meant it when I said it. I make about as much sense as postly. Oh, Candy. Nobody makes much sense sometimes when you think about it. You have problems. You hope for the day when they'll be over. And when they are over, you dream up new problems to take their place. Yeah. I guess it was that... That new problem that bothered me. What new problem? Having friends. Have a lot of rest yesterday, that's for sure. Yeah. See if you can scoot back a little bit. Oh, easy. 
There you go. Yeah, I, I brought you some soup in here last night. He's already asleep. Little Joe's not the best cook in the world, but try some of this anyhow. You need it. <coughs> Why are you doing all this? All what? Taking care of me, feeding me. Well, we hardly know each other, Hodge. You ain't no friend of mine. Well, my pa always said that every man was your friend until he showed you otherwise. It ain't no big thing being friendly to folks. Eat up, John. You need strength. Hodge. Sorry about your pa. I've been reading about it in the paper. I'm real sorry. Well, thank you, John. By the way, that little piece of farmland Paul promised you, it's still yours if you ever change your mind. He sure wanted you to have it. Need anything else? He's gone. I mean, he's gone. How could he get out of bed with two broken legs? I don't know, but he did. John! What in tarnation got into him, anyways? Get here, some water. Easy. Water. Water. You gotta help me. John, take it easy. We're gonna help you. I don't know why I done it. Let's get him in the house. No, no, no. They'll die. I never meant him to die. John, what are you talking about? Who'll die? I'll hitch up the deal. Hurry! Hurry! He's alive.
I wanted you to feel what I felt. To know the darkness and the loneliness. Happen to help me. I don't know why. 